Today on Daily in the Word, we began a journey through the Bible's book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel, named for the prophet of God who authored the book, is prophetic in nature with some instructive information thrown in for good measure. The original recipients were the Jews who were in exile in Babylon. The books of Lamentations and Daniel were written during this same period, but each book had a separate purpose. Ezekiel contains four major themes, the call of God, the need for repentance, the promise of a new heart, and the future restoration of Israel. In short, having conquered Judah and placed the nation under tribute, Nebuchadnezzar's forces took the Jewish people captive and sent many of them into Babylon. Among those captives was a young man named Ezekiel, who was called to be a watchman to the nation. The book records a series of encounters that Ezekiel has with God and the messages that he shares with the captives. The goal is to draw people back to God and to explain to them that although the nation is falling, God still has a future in store for Israel. Let me give you a preview of this exciting book by reading just a few verses from chapter 1. Ezekiel is describing what he saw in a vision, four living beings straight out of a James Cameron movie. He was the guy that wrote and directed Aliens. And in verse 26, there's someone who looked like a man sitting on a throne. From what appeared to be his waist up, he looked like gleaming amber, flickering like a fire. And from his waist down, he looked like a burning flame, shining with splendor. All around him was a glowing halo, like a rainbow shining in clouds in a rainy day. This is what the glory of the Lord looked like to me. When I saw it, I fell on my face on the ground, and I heard someone's voice speaking to me. And you're not going to believe what happens next, but you'll have to tune in tomorrow and find out. We hope to see you then.